Yo, what's going on everybody? Punch here. Hope you guys are having a great day. As you read in the title, going to finally do a full settings video on this game. Uh, I did one of these videos when this game was relatively new, but since then, uh, you know, I've moved to PC and even my controller settings and stuff have changed. So I'm just going to do an entire refresh. Uh, my settings are not going to change from here until the end of this game. You know, we got about four months until this game uh, is, I wouldn't say over, but you know, until the new COD comes out and probably a lot of us are going to move on to it. Uh, if it's good, you know, that's a whole nother discussion, but um, I just figured I'd do a whole video on this, you know, kind of finalize my settings, do a full video. So uh, we're going to jump right into it and I'm just going to move down to the bottom right corner. My face isn't in the way of the settings. And again, um, if you're on console, some of these settings are going to be irrelevant to you. So uh, if you just want to follow along, I'm going to go through all of my settings. So um, you know, if you're on console, you know, the graphic settings and stuff are not going to apply to you because you don't have options to do that, unfortunately, but uh, it's all good. So let's go into options here and I'm going to start in general. So <clears throat> uh, controller, obviously, I'm, I'm just going to go over the ones that I've changed. Uh, that way we don't drag this out, but uh, I will explain why I have what I have, um, you know, for the ones that I've changed. So uh, starting off here. Field of view, it's on 100. Console, it's 80. Uh, it's unchangeable, unfortunately. But um, I have tested uh, 120 before I changed this. So I went from, I believe I went from 80 to 95 to 100. And then I went straight to 120. And uh, 120 just feels like too fishbowly to me, if that makes sense. Um, you know, like the whole world just moving around me. And like I'm concentrated more on like the the movingness you know of like my peripherals than i am like my hood or like what's directly in front of me so um for s and d and gunfight i think 100 is perfect uh if you're a warzone player yeah you probably want to you probably want to get more used to 120 um because obviously the map's so big it's it's just a no-brainer 120 is going to give you the best uh advantage so uh, field of view 100 brightness uh, this is one that not a lot of people know you know because in the past CODs and uh, a lot of different games everybody likes to jack their brightness up to 70 80 same with me um, however on this game if you haven't figured it out yet um, brightness doesn't really scale when you turn your brightness up it doesn't balance out the hue and the contrast and all those different effects when you jack your brightness up to you know 70 80 whatever on this game all it does is wash out your screen and it, it looks like it's got that whitish tint on it um, looks like absolute shit you know um, I learned this lesson the hard way um, because you know when I got this game first thing I did was jack it up to like 75% brightness and um, a lot of people would comment on my videos you know a, a long time ago and they'd just be like you know do you have any idea why your uh, your video looks so like whitened or whatever and I could never figure it out in the problem was right in front of me my brightness was jacked up and it just looks like crap and it really doesn't do anything for you on this game so um, I would recommend just leaving your brightness at 50 especially if you are creating content or recording or streaming um, so we'll just scroll here now I'm, again I'm only going to touch up on what I've changed uh, colorblind type I get asked this a lot in my comments you know why are their name tags yellow so you see the color down here this is the color of their name tags this is a colorblind setting I am not colorblind. Um, this is just a little trick here. Uh, you change it to Deutronopia, and it changes your enemy's name tags to yellow. So um, just to give you a scenario, say there is a rose skin sitting in a corner on, uh, you know, Atlas Superstore, or, you know, say let's pick a dark, like, Isle 9 on Gunfight. And um, your eyes kind of scan over them, but your hood goes over them too, and you know by default they're going to have that dark red font or that dark red name tag and it, it kind of like blends into darker walls whereas like you're not going to miss this you know if you if you don't see them at first but like you scan over them or even if it's on a map they're laying in a bush and you scan over them uh your eyes are going to pick up that yellow font right away like there's no missing it so uh it's a good little trick i recommend you guys doing that if, if it if you want you know obviously it's personal preference for me but um i think it does help overall um so it's set to Deutronopia, colorblind type. Uh, I'll just keep going down here. Uh, Minimap shape. I'm sure a lot of you probably already done this. Obviously, as you can see here, the square gives you a lot more information. You know, the corners are cut off on. Uh, whoops, the corners are cut off on the circle one. So I mean, I would highly recommend switching the square if you haven't already. Um, 
Just keep scrolling down here at anything I've changed. Uh, I have my, and again, this is going to be for PC only, uh, frame, server latency, and packet loss enabled just so I can see what's going on up here when I'm streaming or uh, recording. And make sure my PC is not going ballistic or, you know, my internet. Uh, so that's pretty much it for general. Go to graphics. Uh, again, if you're on console, um, almost all of this is going to be irrelevant to you. But if you want to follow along, you know, there are going to be some settings in here that are relevant to you. So um, I play in full screen borderless, you know, uh, I stream. So when I'm trying to tab out, if you're in full screen, it freezes up your screen for like 10 seconds. And it's a pain in the ass to tab in and out, whereas full screen borderless, I can immediately tab out. However, you will get better frames playing in full screen versus full screen borderless. So if you play on PC and you don't um, you don't stream or anything or you're not recording or anything, you're just playing full screen is definitely the best. Um, just go down here. V-Sync disabled. Uh, custom frame rate, I have it set to max when I'm in game. Uh, but when I'm in the menu right here, I have it set to 60 cap just because there's no reason to have it spike up when you're just going through the menu. Uh, that's what you can see up here. It's, you know, it sits right at 60. Um, and then autofocus is if I like click out to one of my other monitors, you'll see that this will kick down to 30. See, there it goes to 30. Now I click back in, it goes back up to 60. Um, so you guys can do that if you want. Um, and then, so for, for the graphics section here, my PC right now, I have a really beefy PC, whereas... Um, if I'm not streaming, my PC gets probably 160 frames average, but when I stream, uh, because of the build of my PC and specifically my CPU, um, when I am streaming, it's it taxes just enough of my CPU usage to where um, it, it's almost maxing out my CPU usage and my frames tank because of that. So you're going to see a lot of my settings here are on the low side. So... Um, Invader Reflex, low latency. This is a must, the best setting for sure. Um, you can experiment around, obviously, but this is what I have it set to. Uh, display Gamma, never change that, 2.2. Um, streaming quality, I have it set at normal. <clears throat> uh, and then texture resolution, uh, very low. Again, it's it's only like the textures, so like you're, st it's still going to be like a clear view. It's just going to be the textures up close, especially are going to be more like fuzzy looking. Um, but for the frames, no, we got that on low. Uh, texture filter low particle quality is on high uh, the reason I have this on high is because um, Say you throw a grenade at somebody and it makes that like little like smoky misty particle, you know um, Effect in front of them if you have it on the low As you can see it gets it gets kind of uh, Like blurry where you they almost can like hide behind the blurriness where if you have it on high it's a lot easier to see through the particles and stuff. So that's why I have this one set to high. Uh, let's keep going here. Tessellation disabled. Um, On-demand texture streaming disabled. Um, all of this is low here. We won't drag that out. Um, set this to zero. Uh, NVIDIA DLSS. I was excited for this feature to come because I thought it was going to help my frames out, but... Um, I've tried every single one of these, especially performance and ultra performance. Uh, doesn't make my frames, it doesn't change my frames at all. And overall makes the quality of my game look worse, like a little bit like blurry, fuzzy. So just left it disabled. Uh, Anti-aliasing, I have that on SMA T2X. Um, I've kind of just left it on this since I've got my PC. I haven't really experimented, but haven't had a problem with that. Um, depth of field is disabled. Uh, world motion blur is disabled weapon motion blur disabled definitely want to have those disabled console players too uh, Film grain zero, you know, obviously you don't want to have any of that grainy crap um, and That's pretty much it for graphics. So I'll go into audio here uh, Just discard uh, So audio mix boost high I think boost high is ultimately the best uh, you can actually hear footsteps uh, a bit more on boost or I'm sorry boost low but um, the problem that you'll run into with boost low is you also will hear your own footsteps louder. And it gets inside, at least for me, it got inside my head a lot because um, I wouldn't play as confident because I thought that I was running so loud when in reality, like, you're not as loud as you think you are. It's just um, you can hear yourself loud. You know, that's just the, one of the effects of um, 
boost low and it's for everything you know you pull the pin on a grenade like the pin pull is going to be loud uh just everything's louder so uh boost high kind of like balances it out better um i think boost high is perfect so i've left it on that uh master volumes on 50 you know all of my volume control goes from my mass um astro mix amp so this doesn't really matter you can set this to whatever you want but if you have like an external amp or something you control your volume on that's going to basically override what this volume does so uh, music volume on three just enough to where I, c I can hear it you know uh, to make sure there's nothing going on with my game dialogue volume 50 effects volume 100 um, and that's going to be stuff like pulling the pin on a nade you know if you're if your opponent's pulling the pin on a nade you might be able to know like okay he's he's right behind that wall I just heard him pull the pin there so um jack that one up to 100 I definitely recommend um hit marker sound effects I have that on classic um, and then these are just kind of personal preference. This is my uh, sound device here for voice chat, uh, which is this guy. Um, microphone audio mode, or I'm sorry, microphone activation mode is on push to talk. Um, I change this to open mic when I'm playing with people. Um, and the rest of that's just as normal. And then finally here, uh, we have the controller settings. So I have just recently switched to a PS5 controller. Um, and so these, these settings go though for all though, obviously if you're on PS4 controller, if you're on an Xbox one controller, uh, elite, whatever you're on, these go as normal. So, um, button layout tactical. The only thing this changes for anybody that doesn't know by now is, um, it changes your melee and your crouch slide or prone button. So, um, for drop shotting. Or uh, if you're just like wanting to go prone easier, instead of having to hit the circle or uh, the B on your controller, you can just uh, click in your R3. So uh, a lot easier. Highly recommend it if you aren't playing on that. But again, personal preference. Uh, Dead Zone is on 0.05. Never change that. Um, when they added into the game, it's been at 0.05. And again, I've just never changed it. Uh, horizontal and vertical stick sensitivity is on six. This is the perfect balance for me. I know some of you guys are going to be like, how do you play on that slow sensitivity? You know, I play on 18 or 20. Um, again, it's all personal preference. Uh, you'll see that a lot of the CDL pros play, uh, it's, it's typically between four and eight sensitivity. So this is actually pretty common for, you know, some of the better players to play on. Um, and even like Warzone players, you know, there's some guys that play on eight, you know, seven, six, five. So... Uh, personal preference that's what i got though um low zoom 0.75 high zoom one uh aim respect aim response curve type dynamic uh control vibration disable i hate the vibration uh aim assist is on standard i know so there's gonna be some oh my god you play with aim assist on but i've played with it all i've i've dropped 20 plus kills in snd games with it disabled you know but um, as it stands aim assist is there to help us controller players so you know you might as well leave it on it's not like anybody's carrying at the in the end uh scale aim assist with fov got that disabled um and then the rest of these i haven't really touched uh this is a big one here when i'm playing multiplayer uh like uh gunfighter s and d tap to reload because um you'll find yourself in situations like you know contextual tap if you're a warzone player that is hands down i mean if, you, if you're a warzone player i'm almost positive all of you are playing on contextual tap um because you can just tap to pick stuff up ver or loot versus having to hold. But um, if you're playing multiplayer, you know, at least for me, I get in those situations where um, I need to take cover real quick. And there's some guy shooting at me. And the only place for cover is in this one corner. And somebody else just happened to die in that corner. And I have to go reload my gun. But I can't reload my gun because I'm standing on top of the dead guy's gun and it's trying to pick up his gun instead of reload my gun. And in the amount of time that I'm like trying to figure out, okay, well, I need to get away from his gun so I can reload my gun. You know what I mean? Like you just get in those stupid situations where you die. So um, I play on tap to reload for multiplayer Warzone uh, contextual tap. Um, and the rest of these I haven't touched besides slide behaviors on tap, you know, obviously instead of having to hold down r3 or however you slide uh you can just tap it and it's going to do the whole slide duration um that's especially big like you know if you're slide canceling or you're like trying to learn movement like you, it has to be on tap um auto attack sprint another big one um 
it's it's very weird at first even for me but ever since i've got used to it i wouldn't want it any other way um and that's pretty much it guys um i mean we have you know account stuff but this is all just normal um that's pretty much it guys um if you have any questions on my settings let me know in the comments anything i didn't cover or didn't explain good enough um and i will be happy to answer your questions um, but again, my settings probably aren't going to change from this. Um, in about a month and a half, I'm going to be getting a new place uh, with my own dedicated streaming slash, uh, you know, just gaming room. And I'll be running on a dual PC setup, which means my frames are going to be 10 times better than what they are right now. And I might mess with some of the graphics settings here and I'll just kind of like update you guys on them if you care. Um, but other than that, like like my controller settings and audio and all that's going to stay the same. So, um, yeah, hope this helped. You know, again, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Uh, make sure if you guys enjoyed this that you punch in the like button out every time. Uh, thanks so much for all the support, guys. Um, it's, you know, ever since I've surpassed 100K subscribers, it's uh, I'm very grateful for you guys that support me and uh, show the love on all my videos. So. Um, I want to try doing stuff like this more often just to help you guys out. So yeah, I hope it helps and you guys have a great freaking day. I'm out.